Okay, folks, here we are at the uh, Carlisle auction. We're going to do a little walk around here, show you what there is. This is uh, Friday. This is a two day auction at the Carlisle Fairgrounds, the Expo Center they have across from the fairgrounds, actually. Uh, and they have a big classic car auction here, so we'll do a little walk around and show you what there is. Well, we have uh, a little situation here. We got to do some talk over because there was some music near the building here. So I'll do a little talk over for you for a little portion of this. Uh, that was a 56 Chevy Bel Air, two door hardtop. And this here is a Lincoln, a 63 Lincoln. This is a big boat, one of the heaviest cars produced. Uh, it's a four door hardtop, all nicely restored. Then we have a 47 Willys Jeep here. It says Little Lashes Lizzie on the windshield there. It's kind of a military paint job on it. Uh, this is a 64 GTO convertible. It's a numbers matching car. Got all the documents it says. Very nice, iconic muscle car there. Got a Scat Pack Mopar here, kind of a lime green color. And here we got a 57 Corvette convertible Roadster. Very nice. Got to love the toothy grill on that. Just a great looking car. Red interior. Well, we'll jump over to the other side here. Well, on this side we have a 67 F100. Ford pickup. Uh, a couple of those were sold there. That the Chevy and the Ford pickup are sold already. Must have gone up yesterday. Uh, this is a Chevy station wagon here, four door wagon. You got a, a Jeep Wrangler here. You can look on online for the results of this auction. Look at their website, the Carlisle Auction website. This is a Bricklin. I believe these use an AMC engine. They're kind of an interesting car. Then we have a uh, 55 Ford sedan delivery, which Ford called a courier. It's kind of a uh, utility vehicle. Plumbers, electricians, uh, stores use these. It's kind of like a station wagon with no windows in the back and a swing out door. Got a couple Corvettes here. And here's a 1950 Willys Jeepster. It's kind of an interesting vehicle. They're a convertible. This one's all nicely restored. Kind of a pale yellow and black. Got the spotlight on there. Well, we'll step outside here and check out what's out here. There's a PT Cruiser, a Chevy pickup there. There's a Pontiac. Pontiacs are such great looking cars with the divided grille and the four headlights. That one's a convertible. Got a Porsche here. A 
nice Ford here. That one's a convertible as well. Looks like that one's already sold. Rear window discolored there, plastic window in the back. And we got a El Camino here, SS. Looks real nice and red. Got the rally wheels. Black top on it. Real nice car. Well, we'll jump over to another area here. The Mercury Comet. This one's a 76. Low miles V8 car. That's a nice little car there. Got the vinyl top. Got a 5.0 Mustang here. Look at this Oldsmobile. Convertible. Good, good looking colors on that. This one's a 1964. It's a good looking car. That's already sold. This one's already sold too, a Volkswagen Beetle. Nice little 289 Mustang convertible. This one's a 1965. A big block Camaro, 396 SS. It's good looking purple and silver. It's a 67. That one's already sold too. That's a nice looking car. Looks like we've got quite a few trucks in the next aisle there. There's an Oldsmobile. Toronado. The Dodge RT there. Got a cool little Plymouth uh, police car there. It's a coupe. It's kind of neat. Starfire like that one we had. Those are good looking cars. We sold that one off to Ohio. This one's a 1962. This is nice here. This is a Cadillac limo. Oh, that's nice. I wouldn't mind having that one myself. The window down in the rain there. Gotta love the big Cadillacs like that. Looks like kind of an original Survivor. Got the skirts on it. Take a little look inside there. Yeah, that's nice. It's got some moth damage on the seats and up in the headliner over there. See it? So that's just a nice survivor. Could use a headliner and some interior work, but good looking car. Now this auction, I don't know, it's been going on a few years here at Carlisle. Every, uh, swap meet they have the auction and you can see way up there I can zoom in some you can see it up there is uh, that's where you go into the swap meet way up there whoops so uh, you know this is kind of across the road it's a little bit of a walk but we rode the bikes over and from our spaces in the swap meet there just to check this out and show you guys what the auction is all about here Ford pickup there, four wheel drive, all jacked up. Square body blazer. 
There's a little Chevy 3100, I believe that's a 53. Yep, 53, 3100. These are really coming on here. This is a Jeep Wagoneer. Those are a lot of guys looking for those. That one's a 1990. <clears throat> Looks in nice shape. There's a Ram Charger. Jacked up square body here. Chevy. There's some more modern stuff too, like this uh, H2 Hummer. The Bronco 2 there. There's a 71 GMC Suburban there. Three door. Nice little Trans Am there. You get a lot of muscle cars and Corvettes and Mustangs, Camaros, stuff like that. It's a nice Camaro convertible. This one's sold. Lot number CF23 253 if you want to see what it sold for on their site or whatever. If you want to buy a car that's ready to go, it's something you can cruise like it is, this looks like the place to come. Big Pontiac convertible and a Thunderbird here. This must be the full size car alley here, about a bunch of Cadillacs and stuff along in here. Nice here, you got the 428. It's a 66 Mercury called an S55. Got the big block engine. Nice little 72 Mustang there. That one looks like a Survivor. Got original paint, looks like. This looks like a good original. You can see that you know the wear on the paint and stuff. But it's a good-looking car. Sometimes original is the way to go. You know, it's never been messed with, and just how it was from the factory. Sometimes when they do them, they don't do them right. Nice '60 Chevy Bel Air here. Good looking car, got a big tack on the dash, must be a big engine in that I'm guessing. I don't see where it says what the engine is, but I'm guessing from those pipes sticking out back there and the slicks in the back, that's got a big block engine. There's a Porsche, another 5.0 Mustang there. Scan around here a little bit. Oh, there's another GTO here. This one sold. That doesn't surprise me. 66 GTO. Iconic muscle cars. I mean, those are great looking cars. Any of the early GTOs. vehicles here. Look at this Volkswagen bus coming up here. That one sold too. The 1975 micro bus. It says they're sold. This is number CF23-273. Somebody, somebody ended up with that. The Camaro over there, Chevy panel truck. Good looking Pontiac Bonneville here. 
Riviera over there next to it. This is 62 Bonneville convertible. These are really nice looking cars. You got the silver streak right down the side. Nice looking wheels on there. This is a good looking car. It's a big full size car, but nice looking. Here's a Lincoln Continental. A few out in the trees here. Another Camaro. Cadillac and a Mercedes. Couple Corvette over there and a Camaro. Looks like a 50 Plymouth over there, two door. Get over here and check these older ones out. That looks like a black Buick up there, sedan. Even got a boat here. This looks like what, a 38. Yep, 38 Buick Century. Good looking cars. These Buicks of this age, 37, 38, are real good looking. Nice banjo steering wheel. That looks like a pretty original car. I've been repainted, but it's got original interior. This one sold with no reserve, it says. Or hasn't sold yet, I guess. It's on with no reserve. Got another big Cadillac coming in up the road there. A little Chevy four door 36. Here's that red Plymouth. Here's Parker checking out the boat. Well, we'll jump over to another section from here. This here is a Cadillac that was used in the Sopranos television series used in several episodes I guess and one of the characters met his demise in this car they had a mobster shootout gangster shootout and uh, this is what happened to the car full of bullet holes Headlights are smashed out and stuff. This one sold. Somebody bought this. You can see some of the stuff there about it. That's part of the episode there. there. He's shooting. That guy met his demise in there. So that's a TV car. <clears throat> Jaguar. Here's a big old caddy right there. Some more modern stuff over here. El Camino, Florida car, got AC. 76 El Camino, this one's got the Spirit of, Spirit of America uh, model here. Got the red, white, and blue stripes. It's kind of nice. Got a few in the back row here. 57 and a Thunderbird here. A little Nova there, that's pretty nice. Oh, look at the square body camper. That's cool. We'll walk over by that. It's built on a blazer. This is called the chalet. Sure there. 
is a California truck originally, wheel drive. It's a blazer with a like a fiberglass top here. We'll get around the back side of it and show you. That's pretty cool. Not sure how many of those survived, but probably not a lot. Sixty-four Mercury four door Corvette, another square body orange Chevy. Good looking sixty one C ten there, Cheyenne. Grand Fury Plymouth Studebaker here. It's a bullet nose 1950 Studebaker two door. Couple caddies here. This one here is wild. This is a Stutz that they did. It's 1975 Stutz Blackhawk. That's a pretty rare car. You don't see very many of those. Show you the body lines here. That's wild, huh? Here's the website if you want to see it. Again, see what stuff is doing or or you can look at it for future sales if you like the looks of this place. Another Mustang here. Trans Am convertible. There's a lot of cars here. I don't know how many, but hundreds. Saber convertible. Those are wild, huh? Look at the body lines on that. This one's a 1960. Really wild. Show you the tail fins on it. Back in 59, 60, 61, the design on cars were really wild. All kinds of fins and chrome and stuff, you know, just pushing the limits. <clears throat> There's another Camaro over there and Mercury. There's a 440 Cuda. It's one of my favorite muscle cars right there. Great looking car. <clears throat> Cadillac and Mustang and Porsche. The yellow one's a Challenger. There's a couple of GM cars up there, a Buick and a another Camaro. Looks like a Packard under the plastic there. A couple of Mercedes SUVs. This Jaguar is pretty cool here. It's 1971 XKE 2 plus 2. You've got the V12 engine. Kind of a mechanical nightmare, but a cool looking car. They say with Jaguars, you got to have a lot of money because you got to have your own mechanic with you to fix it. There's a big block Chevelle. 
51 Ford two-door here same owner 53 years on this 68 Pontiac GTO convertible and we'll jump over to the next row here Ford hardtop there. Got a few Corvettes and stuff. If you want a muscle car, there are plenty of muscle cars here. There's a 68 satellite with a 440, four barrel automatic. Foose wheels, good looking car. 67 Chevelle and the Big Caddy Eldorado there 69 It's a Cougar convertible Pontiac fastback over behind that golf cart. So far, Parker says he likes the Studebaker bullet nose and the uh, Stutz car. Here's a camper special 77 Ford with a super cab. Boy, there is a lot of cars here. I mean, we haven't even gone inside the building yet. There's a bunch of stuff in the building. Another Mustang. There's a 57 Ford Fairlane convertible. It's pretty nice. 57 is a good looking year last year for the single headlight like that. Pontiac and Plymouth Roadrunner here. It's got the 383, the red line tires, good looking in silver. It's a 68 Roadrunner. Here's all the information on it here. Corvettes here. Maybe you guys can count them, but there's a lot of them. There's a Volkswagen thing. I don't know how many of you have ever seen one of those, but they're pretty wild. 74 Volkswagen thing. It's a good looking Mustang fastback here. This one's a 70. Fastbacks are really, really sought after. Mach 1. Nice car. Well, you've heard of the little red. Here's the big red. Right here. Dodge. This one's got a little rust on the edges, but a good looking truck. A swan on the hood. Three-quarter ton. That one's a 1970. There's a 1940 Ford Coupe Deluxe. Really nice cars. Good looking, but I don't know about that color. I would not have painted that pink. Pink is okay on some 50s cars, but that, that don't look so good. That would look nice in black and red. Got one driving by here. Four 
that. A good looking Corvette convertible there. Kind of cold blooded. Kind of a cold day. They gotta get them warmed up. This is an unusual car here. It's a 72 Ford Cortina. A little information about it there. Looks like a small version of a regular Ford wagon almost. A couple more Corvettes. Here's a Studebaker. Most people recognize that. But, this is not the real deal. It's pretty small, scaled. That's because it's off of a Pontiac Fiero. It's a replica. A wannabe Ferrari. <clears throat> Here's a cool Volkswagen, that's Carmen Ghia there. That one's a 1973, kind of a survivor. That color doesn't do great for it, but. It's a 67 Camaro. It's got the big block. It's a pace car, convertible. That's nice. Another Cadillac. These are really clean LeSabre. These are really good cars. These just keep going and going. Where we are in South Dakota, they don't rust. So the engines are about impossible to kill. This one's a 97. But out east, the bodies rust, and then they get retired. But if they don't rust, they can go forever. Another Buick here. Big full-size Buick. There's another 5.0 Mustang. size holes. You need a full size parking spot for that. Look how it's parked way back on the grass there. The 55 Ford two door fair lane. Come around this side here. Another Camaro here, 68 Camaro. One here says sold already. This is a 66 fiber fab, low profile. Don't know the history on that one. Probably a kit car or something, I'm guessing. This is a 396 Camaro, it's a big block. Nice red Mustang. Mustangs look good in red, 65. on this side yet. There's a Plymouth there and a, a DeSoto here. This is a nice little DeSoto, 1930. A Pennsylvania plate on it. It's a little three-window coupe. That's just a nice, nice car there, you know. 
Looks like much of it's original. Survivor. Really nice inside. Sixty-eight inspection. I know I'd find room for that one in my garage. Good looking car. This one's already sold. Been, I guess it's a uh, resto mod. It, it's got a modern powertrain and stuff in it. It's a 38 Plymouth four door. MG there, that one sold already. It's blue Cuda sold. That was lot number CF twenty three dash one thirty. There's a Datsun, the two forty Z. This Chrysler is up at the end here. It's a four door hardtop. Big Chrysler that would have the Hemi engine. Nothing happened to the headlight bezel, fell off there. This one sold. It's a 56. And I think this area is the last part that's outside. We've kind of gone all around this building. Quite a few pickup trucks on this side. There's a Lightning Ford there and a Chevy. Here's another square body Chevy. A couple more square bodies. This is kind of interesting here. It's a Cummins diesel plow truck with a dump bed on it. This one's a 97, 3500 dually. That's a cool truck. This is the building they have here. Carlisle has bought this building. Now they run all the auctions, have their offices in there and stuff. Another Cummins diesel dually here, a black one. There's a nice little 58 Apache there. It's a good looking truck. That one's already sold. I can see why. That's a nice truck. Took you a lot of money to take a rough truck and turn it into that. It's a step side, short box. Good looking truck. Chevy's in good shape. It's a Z71 off road. Here's a nice 71 Chevy C10 short box. Good looking truck there. There's a blue long box square body Chevy. This one's an 83. Well, that's the end of that row. We'll catch up inside there. Well, we're going to take a walk in the building here. There's also some music in this part of it, in the building, which we weren't aware of. So we're going to do some talk over here. Uh, we've got a Mustang there. Another black Mustang over there. Those are kind of nice, more modern cars. We've got this Chevy pickup here. This is uh, kind of a baby blue color with white. It's really kind of overdone in my opinion. Got the white whites. Too much white on there for me. Got a fancy sign there. It's a 67. Then we got a there's a Ford pickup there. It's a, a super cab. Kind of light blue and white. 
This is a nice 1970 El Camino 454 big block. Looks really good in black. That thing's black on black on black. That's real nice. I think a lot of guys would like to have that car. Here's a 53 Studebaker. This is really wild. It's a dragster. Really customized, modified. They've really uh, done a lot of work to this one. Black everywhere. Real nice. Got a, got a 51 Plymouth uh, Suburban here. This is an all-steel station wagon. The first one for Plymouth. It's got a, it's got a 2014 5.7 Hemi under the hood. It's got a Fulton visor on it. Just a cool car. Kind of a flat paint job on it. Got a uh, white Cadillac convertible here. Big old Cadillac. And a blue and white Mustang there. That over there is their food concession for the auction hall here. You can see the auctioneers would be up in the front there. Got a bunch of Corvettes here. Pick your year and pick your color on those. Carlisle is a real Corvette haven. This one here, though, however, is not a Corvette. This is the real deal right here, Ferrari. 1973 Ferrari 365 GTC-4. That's a nice little car, mega bucks. Then we got a blue Corvette here, big block, 396 convertible Roadster there. Got the hood up on it. Notice the side pipes. That's my favorite body style for Corvette right there. Well, we'll swing over to the other side here. Come down the side near the windows. You can see outside there is a tent where we were early on in this video. The white tent. Now well, we got a what looks like a 52 Chevy. This is a 3100 short box. This is the painted version. Notice the painted bumper, painted grill. This thing is really nice. This is an AACA winner. It's really nicer than it was new. Uh, look at the paint on this. Notice inside the bed, it's got the correct painted wood bed. A lot of people can't resist putting a finished floor in there. This has got a painted bed, which is how they would have been originally. Got the bumper on there, painted rear bumper. Just an immaculate restoration. Kind of an odd color for these Chevy pickups. Usually they're a dark green color. This one's kind of a dark blue, dark or medium blue. You don't see too many in that color option. Here's a nice uh, 71 Chevy. This is a long box Cheyenne, the fancy model. That's really nice. Got it all shined up under the hood there. This here is a 1959 Rambler. And I have never seen one of these before. It's a Rambler sedan delivery. It says on the sign there, one of three made. So it was a prototype, I guess, has sold on the sticker already. Must have sold yesterday in the Thursday auction. <clears throat> Notice the blank, it's like a station wagon with blank sides and a, got a clamshell in the back. Open up, kind of like a wagon, but no windows. That's wild. I don't know that you'll ever see one of those again. One of three, I don't know how many still exist, but... Got the flathead engine, all restored. This one over here is a 51 Ford Crestliner. You don't see too many cars back in that time period with a padded top like that. Got the vinyl top. That was common later on in the 60s, but they were experimenting back then. Look at all the extra trim on it, on the sides and stuff, being a Crestliner. 
Really nice restoration. Got the flathead V8 under the hood. Kind of a brown on brown. Really nice. This here is a, a real nice Hudson. This is a 52 Hudson Hornet Coupe. It's got the 308 with the twin H power. These are amazing cars. They weren't cheap in the day. They were almost the price of a Cadillac. But they would, they performed really well. People use these for racing and all kinds of stuff back in the day. Good engine. Here's a MG, little MG Roadster there. Got a 32 Ford Roadster, street rod. You can see the front of the auction up here. There's where they seat the customers in there. To the left, they got the auctioneers, all their fancy backdrops and everything. This place has really taken off. You know, they started out with the swap meet across the street, and now they've bought real estate to do housing, and they've created this auction center, and really, really doing well. But it all started with the swap meet. This one's a 1937 Fiat. Those are kind of a funny car. Notice the sliding windows on them. We got a 67 Fairlane GT convertible there. Real nice looking car. Like the color combo on that. Good looking blue. Here is a 55 first series Chevy. This is the last of the advanced design. Last year. Midway through the year they go to the next body style. This one's got the chrome grill. Somebody's street rotted it. Got a uh, late, late model small block or something in there. This is the five window cab. Notice the corner windows. You got the vent windows and push button handles. Notice that bed right there. That's got the flat top bed which they did only in 54, early 55. Different dash in there too for the 54 and early 55. Here's a 66 Corvette. It's got a 327. It's convertible. Really nice. Wow, here's a real valuable car. This is a 66 Mustang GT350. That is nice. Black and gold. Here's the original tag there. That's a money car right there. The Fastback. Really nice. Well, that'll kind of kind of do it for our tour of the uh, Carlisle auction here. As you can see they're busy getting ready, getting their customers in there and getting everything cleaned up and get ready for the day's auction. This is a two-day auction and today is Friday. So there was different cars yesterday on Thursday and today's the second day of the sale. They'll do more today. And if you see the kind of stuff you like here, you know, check out their website, check it up next year. And please follow our uh, channel here subscribe to us like our videos and comment and any interna any interaction is good so please involve yourself and we'll do more of these kinds of videos for you in the future and hope everybody enjoyed this one this was fun to walk around here lots of nice cars and just an amazing place they have here now for these auctions